So what is Play for Purpose all about? Well, Play for Purpose starts with the assumption that everyone of you, everyone working in games and in storytelling has a huge amount of power. Now you might say, what the hell, Ben, what power? I just bought this Sport 8 last year. I'm down 90%, what the hell is my power here? Um, but it's a very basic power that we have, the power of play. And let's take a step back what, what, what we are doing every day. Uh, we are not only making fun games for our users, but we are working with something that is older than mankind, right? So animals use the power of play to use the skills and to learn the skills they need for their survival, right? And if you believe the Dutch historian uh, Josef Huizinger, then actually play is the basis of all culture. So that is the power that I'm talking about that every one of you has. Now you add the kind of elements that you get with video games, kind of the immersion and the storytelling with it, you get all those dramaturgical persuasive strategies on top of that. Plus all of us that are working now in Web3 games, we also get that economic incentive layer, right? So we can guide our users with economic incentives. And Play for Purpose is basically saying, you have that power and use it for good. Use it for a purpose. And what do we mean by purpose? We basically say that purpose is one of the 17 SDGs, UN Sustainable Development Goals, and that can be climate action, that can be zero poverty, zero hunger. That's basically what we mean by purpose. How can you implement a purpose? Well, basically there are three very easy strategies to do it. On a bottom foundation, we are doing that at Seeds um, by purchasing carbon offset credits from the purchases that users are doing inside our application. You can provide financial help, financial funds to NGOs, don't do it yourself, to NGOs that are in the field of the purpose that you're working on. And that is something very basic that you can do. We are working with programmable money and that is something very basic you can start. But there's something more that you can do. You can interweave actually your game mechanics with the purpose that you're working for. As an example, at Seeds what we are doing, we are basically wanting to make um, an easy way for to fight climate change, to take climate action. And what we did is you can plant our small little creatures according to the real world weather into actual real world locations. So users actually have to learn about climate change and to learn about different climate zones in order to grow their seedles. So that is something that you can do as a second level to actually use game mechanics to trigger behavioral change. And then ideally that all leads to kind of a joint action point number three uh, you can build a community around your purpose. We know that games are superb for actually building communities and if you get them around a purpose, that is perfect. You can do it with building DAOs, you can do it as we are doing it at Seeds with building a token and handing that to partner projects and we are going to see a very wide array of purposes and how we intertwine them into games. Why should you do it? Well, you shouldn't just do it for the good of the planet, you should do it for your own good. Um, it was a study by McKinsey and they are quite clear on the projections of what purpose will mean to our economy in the future. 80% of the companies that do not have a clear purpose will die out by the end of the decade because consumers are growing increasingly aware of the purpose. So make yourselves a favor, integrate a purpose into your game and let's uh, make play for purpose something that is the future of NFT gaming.